On today's episode of Open Up Microsoft, I have my friend with me, Mathieu, and we'll be talking about SCORE, a tool to help you playing with containers without having to be an expert in Docker Compose or the Kubernetes. Stay tuned for more. Hey, Mathieu, very happy to have you on, on the show today. We know each other in real life, and I know today you want to talk about a project of yours called SCORE, am I right? Yeah, sure. Let me um, start with an introduction. So the de facto tool and platform out there for building platform is Kubernetes, right? And there is many flavors of Kubernetes and it allows developer to add and to deploy their application seamlessly with standardized um, mechanism and process in place where you have observability tools, CI CD tool, security networking, right? It's all about the Kubernetes ecosystem. Yep. Um, but what we have seen as well is they build it and you run it um, where we shift left all this technical expertise and knowledge to the developer um, has been um, has been generating some limitation and some what we call cognitive reloads on the developer because the developer should focus on their application and delivering value for the business, right? Uh, that's all about that. So SCORE is here in order to simplify this cognitive load, um, in order to abstract from uh, Kubernetes knowledge, right? And you know you need a, maybe a database, right, for your workload, maybe a DNS, maybe a storage, right? So here that's yet another suite of tools that you need to know in the cloud infrastructure perspective, right? AWS, Azure, GCP. So should we force and have the developer knowing all of that and developing their knowledge and expertise on that and not focusing on delivering value? That's a question. And the answer is obviously not, right? Um, so what I could show you very quickly, do you want a, a, very, a very TLDR, a quick TLDR about how you could do that? Of course, yes. Of course. I want to know everything, everything that we can fit in our time. Wonderful. Right. So look at this. Yes, here, that's the first step. There is four steps I want uh, anyone to, to, to look at. There is a first step. You will, as a developer, describe and define how you want to deploy your containerized workload. Where is it? In which environment? Is it development, staging, production? You don't know, right? You will deploy that somewhere, and someone will deal with the actual platform and the actual environment. So you describe the metadata and how you want to expose your container. You will have, for example, environment driver. Um, so you describe the metadata and how you want to deploy this workload. And you also define the dependencies. You need a DNS, you need a Redis database. Here, you need the Postgres database, right? So that's this YAML file. And this YAML file is not Kubernetes manifest, right? That's the first part. The so second part of SCORE is the actual implementation. How from this generic, and platform agnostic file, I could deploy actually my containerized workload with all the context I ask for, right? And here, the first implementation is core compose. Because you know, when we do Kubernetes, at the end of the day, that's container first. So how I could test locally with Docker Compose? So it's a well-known um, tool in the developer in your loop where I could deploy my uh, container uh, locally with Docker Compose, for example. So the first implementation is core compose. You install this tool uh, in your, on your machine, and then you use the score compose generate from this score file, right? It will generate a compose YAML file. Here, that's yet another abstraction. I don't need, as a developer, to know about compose file and Docker compose, right? I will just run score compose generate and then Docker compose up, right? I don't need to author the dependencies between my database. I ask for my own workload, maybe exposing the DNS. Someone will help me generate that um, with what we call the score compose provisioners, right? And now from this, why not taking this exact same score file with a second implementation in this project, score Kubernetes? Same approach. I don't need to know Kubernetes. And here I will generate the Kubernetes manifest, deployment, service, um, maybe ingress, maybe secrets config map, et cetera, et cetera. I don't need to know about, about all of that, right? I'm asking to generate Kubernetes manifest associated to my score file. And 
guess what at the end? I'm just applying this generated file. That's the key idea. What you need to know now is we have a community um, around this project, and people are bringing actually their own implementation for their own platform. It's not Compose, it's not Kubernetes, it could be, I don't know, Azure Container Application um, or uh, Cloud Run, um, et cetera, et cetera. So you could also contribute by bringing your own uh, implementation. Does that make sense? Yes. So you're implementing that generate and then that run function that will... Exactly. Yeah. And exactly, yeah. That's the generate in your own specification in order for your tool to deploy uh, the render and generate it for, yes. Okay. And the first step, because like when you show the Kubernetes, it was like you, we started at the step three. So like the first step is always the same. Like it's always that generic kind of... A... Exactly. That's the, the key point here, having just one file, right? And you deploy it in different platform. With that, as a developer, you just provide that and you have your CI/CD pipeline, your platform engineer maybe helping you Re uh, leveraging actually this tool here in order to deploy actually your containerized worker. You're right. I like that. Cool. So can I show you a, a quick demo on that? Of course. Let's let's, let's see it. Cool. Uh, so in this score um, repository, GitHub repository, um, we have multiple uh, and actually organization. We have multiple repositories. One of them is this sample score app that you could try out actually, and we have a uh, like a cut space um, link in GitHub uh, where you could use dev container with the tools already uh, set up for you. And actually, we will see in action how to use Score Compose and Score Kubernetes in action, right? So what I want to do here is showing you um, yet another score file, right? Here, it's a, a bit more complicated than the previous one where I have more environment variable. I will have uh, the Postgres database. I need to talk to a Postgres database again. And in this example, I need a DNS. I want to expose my container, right? my service, my application. I don't know how, technically speaking, um, but again, with the provisioners and the help of the platform, uh, it will help me generate that. right? So what I want to do here is generate, um, running this command here. Uh, it's a make file just to accelerate and speed up a little bit the demo. But typically what I'm doing, right? It's score compose, right? Score compose generate based on this score file. You remember, it will generate this guy here, compose file. Look at the complexity here. As a Python developer or front-end developer, should I know Docker compose? Maybe not, right? And here I have a provisioner generating all this file of 80 lines in order to be compliant with Docker Compose, right? So after that, I could just do Docker Compose up, and that's it, right? And here, if I do Docker PS, I have all my, my application. I have the um, Postgres database and the DNS generated locally, right? And after that, I could ping my application exposed. And yeah, hello Compose. So I have my application up and running. In my developer in our loop, I could debug as a containerized workload um, with this specification, right? Um, the next step is maybe graduating this guy to a Kubernetes platform, right? So mm -hmm. if I have Kubernetes locally or access to a Kubernetes cluster or someone would like to deploy that in Kubernetes in production, let's say, um, they will follow the same principle, right? They will use core Kubernetes. So actually, let me run. I have a kind cluster locally, right? So I could do this guy here. And uh, again, to speed up, I will show you. So it's doing score communities in it. And then I could generate the manifest from the, the exact same score file. I don't change anything, right? And then I could just do kubectl apply, right? I'm applying, waiting for the deployment. And look at this. Now I'm in Kubernetes, hello Kubernetes, right? So here I have my, um, my object in Kubernetes deploy, right? My pod, again, it's my workload itself, but I ask for a dependencies, right? And I will expose this um, here, and I have access to all of that, right? So that's uh, the, the magic uh, of um, this score file, where I could just focus on one interface, one abstraction level, in order after that to have uh, the actual and concrete implementation of that.
right? Here, I could show you quickly, there is a notion of provisioner, like I mentioned in Docker Compose, where we could see the default volume one, you could bring your own Redis, you could have PostgreSQL, uh, S3 bucket, for example, RabbitMQ, and you could build your own provisioner as well. Same for Score Kubernetes, and same for your own platform, right? Um, so we have a blog article where we share the link how to write your own uh, Score Compose provisioner, right? For Apache Kafka, for example, right? And after that, with the Score file, I will be able, uh, as a platform team, to provide that to my developer and having my enterprise ready provisioner in order to test and deploy this exact same score definition and workload definition, right? Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's great. Do you like it? Just to come back, <laughs> yes, I like it. So just to come back to that simple, that uh, demo app that we yes. saw. Uh, so if someone wanna try it, we from that repo, we can open it and like, like both of us are familiar with those environment, but just want to make sure. So if you didn't know, so from that GitHub repo, you could use yes. GitHub code space. So that will create an environment for you online that where like everything will be already installed. So you could run it and you yes. can run the first part using Docker Compose. But then if you want to do it for Kubernetes, then you need an endpoint, like a, a cluster, sorry. Yeah, uh, a cluster, and uh, in this repo, I provided uh, here how to quickly uh, provision a kind cluster, right? So uh, you open this uh, this um, repository, Compose is already there, and you're right. Um, we have this snippet to create a kind cluster, and you are good to go, right? You could just do score Compose and score Kubernetes up with that. So, okay. yeah, I thought when you say kind, I'm not time there with Kubernetes. So when you say kind cluster, I thought you had like a, you know, kind like, it happens. I have a cluster available. Okay, I didn't know it was a thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. I don't know about Kubernetes, so that tool will definitely help me deploying on Kubernetes. Yeah, it's one cluster of this trip that you could have a cluster locally. But you're right. At the end of the day, it could be any Kubernetes cluster. So I like it. So, like, what you're looking for now is it like feedback for people to try it to build eventual, uh, of course, to like add more platform. But how can people get involved? Yeah, uh, yeah, good question. Glad you asked because we are in this momentum um, where um, the community is uh, contributing more and more and using it for sure, but also uh, providing feedback. So that's this uh, organization. It's an open source project, but what it's uh, really exciting about is we are in the process of donating this open source project to the CNCF. And uh, um, recently, we got some good progress to be accepted as a CNCF sandbox. So we are really looking forward to, um, to see where it will bring this uh, very interesting um, uh, concept and tools, actually, in order to simplify the life of the developer on top of a, a strong Kubernetes platform, right? So uh, for sure, we are... Uh, we are uh, community driven and we want more contribution, right? So ask questions in the uh, issues of the repo, contribute with pull requests, bring your own uh, implementation, bring your own provisioner, right? So yeah, trying and uh, contacting our community. We have a Slack uh, where you could contact us and uh, yeah, ask your question. Wonderful. We'll make sure to put all those links, those precious links in the description down below. And don't hesitate to reach out to Material or all that community asking your question and stuff like that. Mathieu, thank you a lot for your time today. It was very appreciated. And uh, I think it's a, definitely a great tool. I'm wishing you luck for the CNCF. And uh, yeah, great success. Thank you very much for having me.